Welcome, everyone, to Coffee with Coaches on the Muskie Sports Network. I'm Tom Caudill, and joining me today is Muskegon University assistant softball coach, Sean McCarran. Coach, welcome to Coffee with Coaches. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You know, Coffee with Coaches presented by Jennings Java. Jennings Java for the freshest roast around. Check out JenningsJava.com. Founded by a Muskie alum, Daniel Jennings, who was a men's uh, soccer goalkeeper here while he was at our campus and has gone on to do some great things with Jennings Java. Freshest roast around. Uh, so, Coach, we were talking a little bit. This is an opportunity for our fans to get to know you a little bit better, get to know the softball program a little bit better. Uh, we'll answer you some fun and entertaining questions and then uh, see what we can learn. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right. Uh, Coach, tell me, where did you grow up at? When did you first become involved with softball? Um, I grew up in New Jersey, a small town, Branchburg. Um, I think my mom signed me up for T-ball when I was five to get started and then um, competitive, competitively, probably eight or nine, I think we started playing. So playing softball, what other sports besides softball were you involved with? I also played soccer and basketball and probably started those around the same age as well. So playing those up throughout high school, multi-sport athlete, uh, when you think back to your playing days, what are some memories that stand out? Um, my freshman year, we won the county tournament um, in both basketball and softball that year. So that was a really exciting year. Um, pl- getting to play in state tournaments, too. Um, and then one of my favorite memories probably was my senior year for basketball. We got to travel down to Disney as a team and stay in the wide world of sports, play a couple games and then go to the parks for the rest of the day. So that was exciting. That's awesome. I've been to Wild World of Sports several times. Uh, such a great facility. And, you know, Disney right there. Yep. Uh, something you'll always remember. You, uh, Coach, you chose Manhattanville College. You were going there as a two-sport athlete for both mm-hmm. basketball and softball. What was it about Manhattanville that attracted you? Um, it really had everything that I was looking for. Um, it was a small school. Um, it wasn't far from home. It was only about an hour and a half. Um, it's in. It's close to the city, which was kind of exciting. And it's a small, it's a division three school. So it gave me the opportunity to play two sports, which I knew I definitely wanted from the start of looking at colleges. You know, thinking back to when you were playing at Manhattanville, you know, what are some of those memories from basketball, from softball um, that you still hold special? Um, Basketball. Let's see. We, we took some trips as teams as well for basketball. Um, We kind of started the season with like a long weekend tournament. um, And we actually, Never lost a tournament, which was pretty cool. In all four years that I was there, we were always won both games in that tournament, so that was exciting. Um, softball, I think anytime we got to play in Florida was fun because we just got to play different teams from all over the country. Um, so you were never playing like the local competition that you kind of already knew about or had played previous years. And um, probably my all-time favorite memory was my junior year. We won the Freedom Conference Championship for the first time. Um, and that was really exciting. We went on to play in regionals and we did pretty well in regionals as well. Anytime you can, uh, you know, have a conference championship, that's very special and advancing out to regionals as well. And it's a sunny day outside today. I mean, it feels like we should be getting ready to go to Florida uh, to start the season, which is right around the corner. Yeah. Um, when did you first realize that coaching could be a career path for you? Um, I think in high school, I always wanted to continue to coach somehow because I wanted to be involved um, with sports in one way or another. And I always kind of thought from high school on that I would have it as like a secondary job. Um, I'd always have to have my nine to five and I could coach, you know, one of the sports that I had been involved in. Um, but then once I got, you know, closer to graduation of college, I realized I could do this as a career and I didn't have to have another nine to five. Um, so that was something that was really exciting to me to, um, just, be able just to see that I could just do it as a career and I didn't have to worry about anything else. And I could stay involved in the sport. Well, I think coaching is a very special career because you impact student athletes lives every day. Um, How did your experiences as a student athlete, as a multi-sport student athlete, help you to become a coach? Well, I being a multi-sport athlete, obviously I get to have multiple coaches. Um, So just being around more than one coach in a different program, I think from just like sports can help you from sport to sport doing different things. I think coaches obviously can help you even, you know, my basketball coach can help me, you know, do something different in softball, not, you know, skill wise, but um, just player wise and same with softball, vice versa. Um, So I think having those two coaches who came in, they were new coaches my junior year. Um, They both came in at the same time and having those two for the last two to three years of my college career 
um, completely changed my mentality, how I was as a player, who I was as a person. Um, I just had a completely different last three years and they were so much better. Um, and I think it's all because of them. So for me to be able to try and give back um, to softball and to athletes um, through them is kind of what I'm looking to do as a coach. Yeah, and that's, that's what you're doing right now, making that impact on the young women here at Muskingum and helping them realize what the next step in life is going to be. Uh, when you think about your work and how you approach it, who's influenced you the most? Definitely have to go back to those two coaches, my basketball coach and my softball coach. I think um, they definitely led me into thinking, you know, they led me into this career. And, you know, I think I take a lot from them and I try to not be like them, but, you know, I take a lot of what they taught me and try to teach the kids that I get to t get to coach now. Um, so if you ever hear me yelling out there, it might be something coming, something that they said to me. So it's kind of them coming out of my mouth. Maybe not, not always me. <laughs> You know, that's the like the ultimate compliment going back to your coaches that you're trying to emulate some of the, the items that they did for you uh, out of respect and showing you the impact they had on you. Um, how do you prefer to start your day? Um, I, I really like to work out in the morning. I just feel like it wakes me up. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, so um, I got to get something to get me out of bed and get going. So if I can start my day with a workout, um, I just feel a little bit better throughout the day. Like I have a little bit more energy. So yeah, I, I'm not consistent always with it, but that's the way I like to start it. Uh, what about what energizes you when you are at work? Um, I think the people that I work with, I, I they really make going to work um, enjoyable and it's something to look forward to. Um, my team, obviously, too. You know, it's it's always exciting getting to see them, um, especially now since we're in season. So, yeah. What about what energizes you outside of work? Um, I think the people in my life, again, like my family, my friends, uh, my boyfriend, you know, they, they try and keep me, keep me going. Uh, I like to watch other sports too, like, you know, football, baseball, um, basketball, um, anything else that's on TV. Uh, I like to read whether it's a coaching book and I get to learn something. And right now I'm reading a Pat Summit book and, you know, she's one of the best of all time. So that that's, uh, energizing me right now to learn from her. Um, and then like, you know, any, any other kind of book that I can just, you know, kind of escape anything from is exciting. Well, you'll have an opportunity this spring. I know you'll be busy with softball, but with so many sports from fall and spring and competition, uh, you'll have a chance to get energized by watching some other muskies compete as well. Yeah, um, what's a work related accomplishment that you're proud of? I think my second year at Muhlenberg, we had a couple of young players. We had a big freshman class that um, started right away from, uh, for us. And we went down to Florida, um, played a couple of ranked teams and beat them and ended up that Florida trip 10 and two. And it's something that I'm proud of as a coach, just because I think um, it seemed like those girls were prepared and they were excited and just the energy that they had and the excitement that they had all week to go out and start 10 and two, you know, with a young class and not knowing how we're going to do, um, was really exciting just to see how excited they were, um, with their success. I'll tell you, I've been down to the, uh, the, the spring games, the rebel games for a number of years, and there's nothing like that atmosphere of walking in. Uh, to the Osceola softball complex or whichever complex you're at and seeing all the young women getting ready to play, the parents, the fans. I mean, it, it, it's so lively and it's, I just love it. I mean, yeah. I wish we were back. I wish we were getting ready to go there right now. Well, um, what's one thing that most people don't know about you? Um, I've had six knee surgeries. Um, so it's kind of hit or miss who knows and who doesn't. <laughs> so you're like a warrior. You got like <laughs> bionic knee going on down there. Yeah. Huh? yeah it's tough. <laughs> um, What's something that's recently made you smile? I had a conversation or I saw a guy walking out of the gym the other day. He was an older guy and um, he was just asking me if I was having a good day. And I said, yeah. And when I went back and I asked him, I said, are you having a good day? And he said, of course. I said, he said, there's no such thing as a bad day. Just some are better than others. That's awesome. That's, I had to make you smile, make you yeah. think about things a little differently. Yeah. Um, what about advice? Uh, who's giving you some good advice? Where'd it come from? I, the best advice I've ever gotten is to be where your feet are. Um, I wish I could remember who said it, but, um, that's that, that quote and that phrase has just always stuck with me. And I think it encompasses a lot of different things into one, like controlling what you can control and just being where you are and not worrying about what's ahead, what, what just happened in the past. Um, really just staying present where you are.
you know, you said when you were a kid, you got involved with T-ball pretty early. Uh, when you were a kid, what did you think you were going to grow up and be? A professional soccer player. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the, the women's national team is, yep. is on fire. They're playing the She Believes Cup right now, probably mm -hmm. getting close to winning that. Um, so nothing wrong with wanting to be a professional soccer player. Uh, what about this? If we're sitting around some of your friends and I ask them, what are three words that they're going to use to describe you? What words would your friends use? I think uh, they'd probably say I'm pretty easygoing. Um, I'm honest and I'm competitive, whether I'm on the field or off the field. I think in everything I want to be competitive. <laughs> Well, we'll have a chance to see your competitive nature here when the Muskie Madness Minute to Win It games start here in a couple of weeks. And the softball coaching staff is in the bracket. So you will be competing against other coaches and student athletes on our campus for a chance to hoist up the championship belts. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, it should be a good time. Um, what about this? If we're, if we're making a movie, who's starring you in the movie? That's a tough one. Um, I think Sophie Turner, maybe. Sophie Turner. Yeah. You know, during the time of COVID, uh, a lot of things have been moved inside. So if there was only one food you could eat for the rest of your life, what's your go-to? Sushi. Sushi. Mm -hmm. What about the same way? You know, everything's digital these days and everyone seems to be on their phones a little bit more than they were before. What are three apps you have to have? Um, Twitter, uh, Yelp, and Spotify. Spotify. So you got you got a favorite playlist on Spotify? Um, recently, I think I've been listening to a '70s playlist. Actually, there you go. And you know, we'll be won't be too much longer. We'll be hearing "Ring of Fire" blaring at the softball field as the girls take the field to uh, start the games. Um, what about what's a favorite TV show? Is there something that you like to watch? Is it your go-to? Uh, Friends is probably always on in the background at some point. <laughs> I tell you, once you get friends, the uh, theme song in your head is going to be in there all day. So it's in my head now. So I'll have to uh, get that out somehow. Um, when you were an assistant coach, I mean, you've been assistant coach um, at, at New Paltz over in New York for SUNY System at Muhlenberg. Uh, what did you learn most being an assistant coach at those places? Um, I think in the beginning, I learned that. I had to adjust from being an athlete to being a coach, obviously. Um, and I think that that way I was trying, I, I had to learn that not everyone's going to do the same thing that I was going to do. And not everyone is going to be able to pick up something as easily as I'm going to be. I was, or, you know, whatever way I did it. Um, so learning to communicate better and learning how I needed to adjust the way that I spoke and made sure I made things clear and made sure that they weren't just making sense to me, but they were making sense to everybody. Um, I think also since I've played, it hasn't been long since I've played, but I think the game has just changed so much too. And even just from um, one school to the next and a couple years to the next, um, the game has changed and the way that people play has changed so much. So that's something that I think I'm, I've learned in the last five years, but I just am constantly continuing to learn that as well, how everything is changing and adapting and how we have to, as coaches, um, change and adapt with the sport. Yeah, Coach, you're, entering, you're in your first year here at Muskingum. What was it about the Muskingum softball program that attracted you to come here to New Concord? Um, I think the the history and the success of the program um, stood out right away. Um, I was, you know, excited to see that they're coming off a conference championship. Um, it's a, it's the history is um, uh, they've been successful for so long. Um, I really also like that Coach Winters not only does she just coach here, but she also played here as a player and she's been here. So to be able to coach with someone who really takes pride in the program and, you know, it, it means a little bit more to her because she is an alumni of the program and she has been successful within the program. So to continue that success and she is also a piece of the history and a piece of the tradition that we can continue moving forward as well. You know, I've been, I was fortunate enough to start right after Muskegon won the national championship and to work with coach down in Newberry, uh, got to go to four world series to, to, uh, support the Muskegon softball program. Got to see Coach Winters as a player here, then Coach Hoying. I mean, phenomenal yeah. All-American player. Uh, so I could see the history and success. And if you, we get to your field, for people to go out there, 
when you see the back wall that's painted with all the championship mm-hmm. numbers and ultimately the national championship banner, which hangs uh, or the sign above, um, I guess the backstop area is just phenomenal. I mean, there's no way that you would not want to come and be a part of that tradition. Yep. Uh, you know, the season's pretty close. We're, we're getting we're almost two weeks out, a little under two weeks. Um, what are you most excited about for that first day, that first game? I'm just excited to play again. I'm excited to be on a field. Um, you know, we only, you know, our, especially with our season being cut short last year, we only got to play about eight games. I think it was the same for Muskingum. So um, just getting these girls back into a competition that's not against themselves, um, that's against someone else and playing a doubleheader and, you know, that that whole game day feel, I'm just so excited for. You know, one of the important aspects of being a coach, obviously, is the recruiting trail, um, bringing a lot of young uh, young women to campus to talk to them about uh, Muskie softball program. Why should recruits look at Muskingum and want to be a Muskie? Well, going back to our success, obviously, we've been a successful program. We're going to continue to be a successful program. Um, and we play in one of the best conferences in the country, probably. It's very competitive. You know, we're not just walking through our conference when we when we do get to win. Um, I think the location has something to is something to talk about. Um, and the campus itself, um, you can see the construction that's right in front of you when you pull onto campus. Um, so that's exciting that um, new things are coming and there's a, there's a bright future that's coming on campus. I think our majors, um, we have so many things to major in here. There's going to be something for everybody, um, to, to find a major in. And obviously, I mean, the best thing about it is our coaching staff. So I don't know who wouldn't want to play for the three of us. That's number one right there. Make the connection with the coaches. Uh, you, you mentioned a little bit, the construction, um, and that's going to lead us to our final question here, coach. We're talking about the health and wellness complex being built right behind the Steel Center, a $30 million complex. It's going to combine athletics, academics, the community, diagnostic hub. Uh, It's going to be a state-of-the-art facility, a centerpiece attraction when anybody comes to our campus to see. How will this facility help and impact the softball program? Um, yeah, we're we're really excited for that. Um, we, you know, we're kind of stuck in the gym right now. Um, we've been going to over to the field house, which is nice to get off campus. But it's really going to be exciting to not have to take a ground ball on a gym floor. Um, we get to take that ground ball on turf. Um, the outfielders will even be able to get some work in with some fly balls. Um, the cages that are going to be there, we're going to have everything right in one place. So we won't be running around from different place to different place. We'll all just be able to be right there. And um, we won't have to worry about if the snow's melted off the turf yet because we still get that chance. Um, so it's something that's going to be really exciting for our winter practices since we are stuck indoors so, for so long. You know, that facility is going to have the indoor track. The Inside the track will be the turf facility. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to touch every program here at Muskingum and give our student athletes and our coaches an opportunity to get better every day. Uh, Coach, I want to thank you again for taking time to join us here on Coffee with Coaches presented by Jennings Java. Uh, visit JenningsJava.com to get the freshest roast around. And I wish you the best of luck here as we approach the season. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks a lot. Go Muskies. Go Muskies.